Hi, Girls and Voice. Today I'm going to read The Little Red Fort by Brenda Mayer. Pictures by Sonia Sanchez. I've heard some of you boys talking about wanting to make a fort. Let's see what this is all about. Ruby's mind was always full of ideas. One day, she found some old boards. Who wants to help me build something? She asked her brothers. Oscar Lee pretended not to hear her, so I guess that's her first brother. Rodrigo gave her a look that could melt popsicles. There must be another brother. Jose almost fell off the fence, so I guess that must be Jose. You don't know how to build anything, they said. Ruby shrugged. Then I'll learn. So neither of our three brothers want to help her. And she did. Who wants to help me draw the plans, Ruby asked. The boys clutched their sides and howled with laughter. They think that's funny. Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll draw them myself. So I wonder if she's drawing plans for a fort. And she did. with her plans, Ruby asked, who wants to help me gather the supplies? Hmm, what do you think they're going to say this time? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll gather them myself. They all have other things to do. They're not interested. And she did. I don't know what kind of supplies she has in that box. We'll see. When all the supplies were gathered, Ruby asked, who wants to help me cut our boards? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll cut them myself. I don't see anybody looking too busy. And she did. When all the boards were neatly cut, Ruby sang, who wants to help me hammer in the nails? Not me, said Oscar Lee. I don't think so, said Rodrigo. No way, said Jose. I'm too busy. Fine, said Ruby. I'll hammer them in myself. And she did. I wonder if that's her grandmother helping her, and I wonder if that's her mom watching. We don't know. They haven't introduced us. Soon, Ruby's creation was complete. Who wants to play in my fort, she called. And right here it says, Ruby's fort. Me, me, said Oscar Lee. Let's go, said Rodrigo. I'll play, said Jose. I'm not busy anymore. Well, they didn't want to do any of the work, but now they want to go into her fort. Mm, I don't know. Not so fast, Ruby said. 
You didn't help me draw the plans or gather the supplies or cut the boards or hammer the nails. You said I didn't know how to build. And you laughed at me. I'm going to play in the fort by myself. She's right. Nobody wanted to help her. And she did. Oh, uh, we didn't want to play anyway, the boy said. But they did. So they huddled, whispered, and got straight to work. Oscar Lee made a mailbox. Rodrigo planted flowers. Jose painted the Fort Fire Engine red. Ruby was delighted. They're going to make our fort look even better, huh? That evening, the boys followed a delicious aroma to a fort warming party. When somebody gets a new house, they have a house warming party where they invite people to come see their house. So she's calling it a fort warming party. Who wants to help me clean this plate? Ruby asked. We do, the boy said. Looks like she's holding some, oh, I don't know, cookies or brownies. And they did. So on the last page, it says, build a fort of your own. You can have a sofa fort, which is a couch, uh, a kitchen chair fort. See how they put blankets over the chairs? Oh, a snow fort. A lot of you have made that. that and a bunk bed fort. And over this side, um, it's, it says it's an author's note. And you know what it talks about? That this book is a lot like The Little Red Hen. I don't know if you've ever read that book before, but that's when The Little Red Hen uh, was going to bake some bread and he was asking all of his friends to help him by getting the ingredients and mixing and baking and they didn't want to do that. And at the end, the little red hen didn't want to share the bread with any of his friends. Until next time, bye.